it's coming off. I want the world to know, got to let it show. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Week 35 results for you guys. And it was a good week. So let's get into the video. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications so you are notified of my videos. I am on a journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight. I started my YouTube channel so that I could document everything to hold myself accountable, but also to help inspire others around me just to get healthy with me. Let's do it together. We are a team and it's hard. Losing weight is freaking hard. So why not, why do it alone? Do it with me. I have a group on Facebook called The Shrinkable. So if you need some support, some encouragement, we get some great people in there and the link is in, in the description if you guys want to join. I started my keto journey, the millionth keto journey of my life, 35 weeks ago at 291 pounds and I am determined to get the weight off for good this time and keep it off for the rest of my life. So that involves a lot of learning, a lot of growth, a lot of failure, and a lot of winning. And so I just share everything with you guys. If you want to follow someone who is real, who is honest, it's going to share everything with you guys, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's just do this together. So I had a great week. We saw a loss this week, which is awesome. But before we get into the results, um, I've been thinking like the last couple of days that I've abused my body for years. I'm 40 years old, so 30 plus years, I've abused my body with food. I've turned to food for comfort. I've turned to food for every emotion that I felt because I knew that it was going to make me feel better. And it just became my reality. It became the norm for me. And you know, 30 plus years of doing that, there's a lot of relearning that I have to do in this journey. But I've just been thinking like, when did it become okay? When did it become okay to treat myself like that? I have three children that I love more than anything in the world that I would do absolutely anything for. And I take care of them. Every day I take care of them and they love candy. What kid doesn't, right? They love sugar, what kid doesn't? They actually don't like chocolate though. Yeah, weird. They would literally eat candy all day long if I let them, right? So obviously I'm not going to let them do that. Why? Because I love them, because I wanna take care of them, because they're young and they're not able to make the right choices for themselves, so I need to make, you know, make those healthy choices for them. And I want to teach them that being healthy is important, and that's because I love them and because I want what's best for them. At what point did it become okay for me to not love myself? and to not treat myself with the love and respect and kindness that I deserve, that my body deserves. We are only given one body and one life to live. And we're gonna screw up throughout that life, obviously, so many times. But at what point are we gonna say enough is enough, you know? We need to love ourselves <sighs> right where we're at, right now, not just at our goal weight, not when we've just, you know, done the dang thing, but right now where we're at, we need to love ourselves because that's not okay. It's not okay to treat our bodies like that. It's not okay to disrespect ourselves like that. And yes, you know, for a lot of us, that's all we know how to do. And you know, in my case, that's all I've known how to do. But it just, it blows my mind because I have just abused my body for years and years and years. And I would never do that to my children. So why would I do that to myself? When did it become okay to do that? To treat myself like that? It's not okay. It's not okay. And we need to wake up and start treating ourselves with the love and respect that we deserve. And for some of us, we don't know how to do that, but it's just all about making one choice at a time, one healthy choice at a time. We have choices every single day. We are in control of those choices. We can either make it a bad one or we can make a good one. And we just have to try to consistently make those good, healthy choices every single day because we deserve that. We deserve that. You deserve that. You deserve 
that love and that respect that kindness. So I am a believer. I've been a believer my entire life, although I wasn't saved until September 26th of 2010, but I've always believed. I've always believed in God. I always knew he was there. I felt him. I've experienced him, but I've always turned to food I, my entire life for everything. I've turned to food and not God because that was what was easy. God will help you through it, but he's not going to do it for you. So Turning to him isn't just, you know, hey, okay, you need to take this away so, you know, I don't have to deal with it anymore. No, he's gonna help me through it. He's not gonna do it for me. So it's still hard. My aunt actually asked me like a couple, couple months ago, she said, well, you're a Christian, you're a believer. Why do you still struggle with food addiction? You know, I have just become so comfortable with the life of oh, poor choices just poor choices and that has just become so normal for me so comfortable when really i should be turning to god and giving it to him and allowing him to work through me and to give me that strength to overcome this food addiction that is the one thing that i have never done and that is the one thing that is going to work so why is it so hard why is it so hard to do that when i know He's there. I have a relationship with him. I, he speaks to me. Why is it so hard for me to just give it to him and let him work through me? That is something that I am learning on this journey. That is something that I have never really tried to do before. I've always tried to do it myself. I am a very controlling person. I like to be in control. I like to make the choices. I like to be in control. It's just who I am. It's my personality. So giving it to him and just allowing him to be in control is something that I need to learn how to do. It's not easy. It's not easy because you have to actively turn away from what feels comfortable. You have to force yourself to do something different and to resist it, to, to resist those temptations. <sighs> It's the one thing that I never did. And it's the one thing that I need to do. I need to start letting him heal me. I need to start letting him be my strength instead of relying on my own strength because I have none. I'm so used to failing. I'm so used to just giving up and failing. Well, I can't do that. I can't do that anymore. You know, that's a huge part of my journey. That is kind of like the next chapter for me is to really dive into letting go. Letting go and letting God. That is what I have to do if I want to overcome this addiction. And he's going to help me. That's the thing is that we can't say, okay, okay, God, you know, help me through this day, take away this addiction. And he's gonna be like, okay, let me just take that addiction away from you. No, what am I gonna learn from that? He wants to have a relationship with me. He wants to see me grow. That's where growth is going to happen is when it gets hard, when it gets challenging, right? That is what he wants. He wants me to grow. He wants me to transform and overcome. It's going to be a daily thing. It's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be uphill. It's going to be so freaking hard but I don't have to do it alone and neither do you guys. If you are a believer and you, you know he's there, guys, tap into that power. Ask him to help you and he will, I promise you. All right, guys, let's get into this week's results. I was really excited. Uh, last week, I ended up gaining three pounds. If you didn't see last week's video, I gained three pounds like right before weigh-in day. Right. So really, really frustrating. I was 242 uh, last week on my weigh-in day. And this week, I just stayed on track. I was not perfect. I actually uh, screwed up a few times this week, but I don't really think of it as screwing up. I think of it as living, you know, like I'm not going to be perfect all the time. We're not going to be perfect. What's important is that we make more healthy choices than unhealthy choices. The healthy choices need to far outweigh our unhealthy choices. And that is how we're going to be successful with this journey and this life is to just find that normal balance. And that was my week this week. I wasn't, uh, I didn't stay on track. 
the entire time, but I did really good. I made a lot of great healthy choices and that is what I'm going to focus on. And the scale rewarded me. So I was 242 last week and this morning I woke up and I was 237. So I lost five pounds. I lost the three pounds that I gained plus another two. Really excited about that because I had a great week. And you know, we go day by day here, week by week, you know, I could have a great day today and then a really sucky day tomorrow. So I'm just going to enjoy it, enjoy this week because it, because it was a great week and know that I am just learning how to live. I'm learning how to do this. I'm just learning how to be a normal person and overcome this dang food addiction because it's really getting on my nerves, I'm telling you. After 40 years, I'm done with it, okay? If you guys need me at all, I'm always here for you. Don't forget to join my support group on Facebook. Link is below. And I will see you at the next video. All right, guys, stay safe and choose health. Bye. Covered. Did my hair look like that the whole time? Yeah, that's it. I complain about my hair in like every single video, but I mean, come on, wouldn't you? Look at all my bruises. What the heck? You are notified of my we I am the incredible shrinking Steffi. I am a, oh, oh my word. A lot of overcoming. Is that, does that make sense? So many times. Bless you. So did you have a good week this week? Uh-huh. Yeah, did you make good choices? Yeah. With your food? Yes. Yeah? What? Where, where did I make good choices <laughs> with my food? Yeah, did you eat good? Did you eat healthy? Yes. Yeah, what did you eat? Um, daddy's yogurt and fruit. Daddy's yogurt and fruit, yeah. That's, that's, how you, that's how you make a parfait. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, do you like chocolate? How come? I don't like chocolate. What does it taste like? Tastes like poop. Oh! <laughs> I'd have to disagree. Do you like chocolate? I do. Do you like chocolate? Leave us a comment below if you like chocolate. Or if you don't like chocolate. If I don't like chocolate, then leave me a comment below. If they don't like chocolate? Yeah. Okay. If you don't like chocolate, leave them a comment below. Give them some love. Do you guys like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? What do they say? <laughs> bye bye. Bye. And bye. give us a hug. And give us a hug. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And make healthy choices this week. Okay. All right. Ozzy, hold on. Okay. <laughs> it's such a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs>